The favorite thing I love about Thanksgiving is the mashed potatoes and the gravy. And the pecan pie. That's the best thing about Thanksgiving. But also what also is cool about Thanksgiving is there's no strings attached. There's no presents. There's no, you know, you just get to have fun with your family. Thanksgiving is a holiday defined by gratitude. Friends and families alike gather to share a meal, give thanks, and catch up with relatives from near and far. And when the family was smaller, what I like to do is you go around and everybody says what they're thankful for. That's really cool. Do you do that? Yeah, we do do that. Oh, yeah. We didn't do it this year, I feel bad. Yeah, we did a little, a little bit. Oh, yeah. What yeah, were you thankful for? Um, for good health and good. for my little niece, Mia. Oh. She's getting her bigger, and she was there, and she had a good time. Good. And she ate a whole bunch of food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this day of thanks has been a staple of American culture since its origin in 1621, but it has seen a drastic shift in recent years. Black Friday has changed the Thanksgiving narrative for many families across the country. Whether shopping starts the night of Thanksgiving or 3 a.m. on Friday morning, consumerism is taking over our day of thanks. Customers camping out for hours in the frigid cold to get their hands on the doorbuster deals. <laughs> Millions of shoppers across the country are rushing into stores on the hunt for big bargains this holiday season. 70 inch TV for 600 bucks? You'd have to be insane to give that up. It's a madhouse. It's a zoo. There was lines outside. We spent all the money that we need during the whole year. <laughs> How you doing, guys? For this 2018 holiday season, the National Retail Federation predicts holiday sales in the United States during the five-day period of Thanksgiving Day until the end of Cyber Monday to total roughly $720 billion. Last year, hobby, toy, and game stores led the sales with about 30% of all holiday expenditures going towards this department. Today, as technology continues to advance, advertisements are seen more and more online with the incredible growth of digital shopping in the last decade. Cyber Monday is a gold mine for the retail industry. Wayfair, one of the world's largest home furnishing websites, sold a mattress every six seconds on Cyber Monday. Many companies that participate in Cyber Monday now advertise their sales for the entire week. This is done in order to keep their sales growing in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Although it's easy to get carried away by the enticing retail sales, we ask the question, do you really need what you're buying? Is it really necessary to buy that flat screen TV? And how bad do you actually need that magic bullet? The United States is a leading victim of materialism. It isn't always bad to buy something that you want or something that will make you happy, but think twice about what is a necessity versus what you might buy just for pleasure. Peter Menzel and Faith Luzio, two American photojournalists that led 16 photographers around to 30 different nations to live with families that represented the economic average within that given country. At the end of the week, photographers worked with the families to take every physical item out of the family's homes to photograph them with. These photo stories were put together to create their book, Material World. Now when looking at these photos, it becomes clear to us that items that we believe we may need may just be items that we want. Santa's coming in town. Santa! Oh my God! What do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> God damn it! Nintendo Deer Hunter Three. No, no, I want an official red undercover knife to do and get rid of my leg rifle. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. For Christmas this year, I want an Xbox and hmm, and nothing else. <laughs> well, one is a Jurassic World T-Rex that is the one that will actually, the tummy actually can open up. That, that one is big. I seen it 
and it's big. Anything else? Magic eight ball. And the Lego set. The Lego set. And Indiana Jones, what do you say? I'm on a toy truck and a stuffy one looks like Spider-Man and I also want a Batman sleeping toy. <laughs> that was Erica. I would like for Christmas this year is a metal detective. A metal detective. Okay. Where I can text, text met metal. What do you want for Christmas? Um, this year I want for Christmas is um, something that can sense stuff underground and metal detectors so I can find stuff. Yes, I what? want a lot Yeah. A Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park? Just the entire park? Uh-huh.